your voice is incredible. You've, you've let's say you do U.S. beef, Smokey the Bear, Dodge Ram trucks, Coors beer. Did you expect when you were a young actor that that voice would be your calling card? No. <laughs> no. Why? Well, Why? People work hard to get when, those when, pipes. When I was a young kid, I didn't have this voice. So, <laughs> for starters, I, my mother directed me to sing in a cherub choir when I was four years old in Sacramento, California. And I say drug lovingly. I loved doing it. And I always was involved in singing in vocal ensembles and choirs. And my voice progressively over the years started to plummet. <laughs> you know, and you know, precipitously. It, it Did anyone it, tell it, you like to get it, voice it, lessons it, to it stop it from going? Yeah, you, you know about this encounter. I had an encounter one time. I was working construction. I was a day laborer, and I was going to a workshop studying at night. And I'd gotten a portfolio of pictures together because I heard that you needed to get a portfolio of photos. Mm -hmm. This was 50 years ago, nearly. Mm -hmm. I, I had a, I was going. I was in the National Guard at the time, and one of the guys that I was in the guards with had a friend that was an agent at a, at a place called Meyer, Michigan. It was a very upscale agency, and this guy's name was Greenfield. And so I, he set up a meeting for me, and I went in, and much like we're sitting across his desk, we thumbed through these pictures and closed it up, and kind of slid it back over to me. He says, "I got two pieces of advice for you." The first one would be go back to Portland, Oregon, which is where I lived at the time or came from. And the second one is if you're going to stay in this town, you got to fix that <laughs> voice. You got to you got to take some voice and diction lessons and get rid of that southern accent. You know? <laughs> Have you seen him since? I no. <laughs> no. I don't know if he's even in the business anymore. <laughs> but I never had another encounter with him. Well, we have, a, we have a clip here from the movie, and as I said before, you play the manager and the older brother who is trying to do his best for his younger brother who just won't listen to him. And um, any, anything else uh, I need to know about this? This is when you're trying to get him to wear the earpieces. Yeah, he's, he's got this serious issue with inner ear because he's been a rocker and been around music and been around listening to these, you know, loud music all his life. And, the other thing about Bradley and my relationship, or Bobby and Jack's relationship, is they had a father that Jack was really close to, who was a drunk. He was also a musician, also a singer. And, you know, they both had the goods, but Jack was the fair haired boy, the golden child. He was referred to in one version of the screenplay. And Bobby was kind of the wannabe. He, he, he was a singer, but he wasn't a writer. He was always singing somebody else's stuff, which led to kind of a contentious jealousy, I think, of some sort from Bobby. Well, we have a clip here where uh, you are trying to help Bradley Cooper. Jim? You put me in the ground. We're trying to You got to put him in, man. I told you I can't wear those things, but I wear them. It's just in my head, and I need to be here with everybody else. How the, the doctor fuck am I gonna... said it's the only way to manage this thing, Jack. You're not going to get back what you lost. It's the only way we can manage what you still got. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think we're managing pretty good. What do you want me to do? You know, the door is wide open if you, you know want to go. Don't start that. Show a little pride in what you're doing, buddy. Every scene's given its pace and given its time. Amazing, amazing performances. Now, speaking of your incredible pipes, um, uh, as, uh, as I said, Lady Gaga, or Stephanie, as you call her, she's the lead. It's an amazing performance. It's a brilliant performance. It, I would love, if you could, just to hear your voice and her amazing lyrics together. Would you be willing to give Lady Gaga lyrics the the Sam Elliott treatment, <laughs> just just open up open up the taps and let the just let the smooth come out. <laughs> Would you be all right? <laughs> we got him right over here. 
They're in the camera. If you just talk into camera three right over there yeah. and read those, and they're, they're, they're broken up by line. Don't be a drag. Just be a queen. <laughs> Whether you're broke or evergreen. <laughs> I won't tell you that I love you, kiss or hug you, because I'm bluffing with my muffin. Now bring it home. Bring it home, Sam Elliott. Rah, rah, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Roma, Roma, ma. Gaga, ooh, la, la. <laughs> Want your bad romance. <laughs> Say a melody, everybody. Thank you so much. A star.